What's the deal, y'all? Now, today, I'm going to be answering another question I got from a supporter. And that question is, how do you have a successful career overseas? And I kind of touched on this in the last video, but I'm going to be a little more. I'm going to elaborate more on that in this video. And I gave you all five things that you can do to assure yourself to have a good, long career as a professional basketball player overseas. And I'm gonna jump right into the video. The first thing and the simplest thing, not the easiest, but the simplest thing to do to guarantee that you have a long career overseas is to be good, to be the best player you can possibly be. So that means you're gonna to have to work extremely hard, um, going to the gym in the summer and also during the season be the first one to practice, last one to leave. It sounds cliche, but that's what you got to do to be good. And when you're good, you're always going to be wanted. And when you're wanted, you're always going to have your phone ringing. Agents are always going to be hitting you up. Teams are always going to ser uh, be searching for uh, your talent or whatever it is you bring to the table. You feel me? So be good, and that is going to assure you to have a long career overseas. And a lot of people have families or like to take their summers off and relax. So they don't want to be in a gym two or three times a day, especially the later they get into their career. Um, so that's that's why I say it's, it's simple, but it's not easy. So if you don't like doing that, you can. Uh, the other things I'm going to list in this video is going to help you as well to have a long career. Um, second thing is be consistent. Whatever it is that you do, uh, always do it. You feel me? And it's going to tie into the third thing, uh, the third thing, which is like have a niche. So if you're a rebounder, always rebound. Every practice, every game, focus on rebounding. Rebounding. If you're a point guard and you're a pass first point guard, you're a floor general, be that and be consistent and bring that every single day, practice, games, season after season. You know what I mean? So whenever a team is looking for something uh, specific, uh, they're going to know that you can F uh, fulfill that role you feel me so that's two and three have a niche and be consistent with what you do you feel me and when you're consistent there's teams are always looking for pieces you feel me a lot of people get confused and think that uh if you, you just have to be able to score you have to be able to do this you have to be uh michael jordan you have to be lebron you don't have to do that teams look for pieces teams look for shooters teams look for guys that's going to rebound teams look for guys that's going to come off the bench um, energy guys so whatever it is that you do well you have to find that and study yourself study your game and know yourself and be consistent in that and you will always have a job you feel me uh the fourth thing i'm going to get into is be a good teammate do you feel me be a good locker room guy be positive always want the best for the team whatever uh no matter how you're playing, no matter how your stats are looking, always cheer for the team, always be encouraging. A lot of teams look for that. You obviously have to have some talent, you feel me? But you don't have to be the best player if you, are, uh, if you bring good energy to the team at all times, you feel me? So be a good teammate and you can have a, a long career as well. And the fifth thing, and which is probably the most important thing, and that is win. I see a lot of guys that are good, talented players, but they never win anything. Their team never have a winning record, and their career get cut short, you feel me? Or they always are around um, late into the season. They never start a season off with a team, you feel me, because they aren't winners. And when you have good stats – or decent stats and you're not winning, you can sometimes get passed up. Uh, they'll take a guy that has not so good stats, six, seven points a game, but he's always on winning teams. He's always winning. Uh, they'll take that guy over you nine out of 10 times. You feel me? So if you're a winner, you're a good teammate, you know what it is that you do good, better than most people, and you're consistent in that and you're good, you're a good player, you're, you, you, you really mastered the game, 
If you can do these five things, you're going to have a long career. Teams are always going to want you. And you're going to be able to make a lot of money playing basketball overseas. You feel me? So this is a quick video. Um, obviously, some things happen that are out of our control, like injuries, um, things like that, that cut, cut our career short. But if you do these five things that I listed, you, you, you will have a, a long career. So focus on that. Um, if you have any questions uh, like this, leave a comment. Hit me on Instagram, Kyle Mialis. I answer, I answer all the questions that I get um, asked, whether it's on a video or directly to you. Yeah, so do that. I appreciate y'all for tuning to this video, and I'm out.